people who downloaded their Google data and went through it, what were the most unsettling things you found out they had stored about you? That there is a map of everywhere I went in the last couple of years that's accurate to the hour. Can we all upvote this same question next week when everyone has received their information? There's an audio recording of me saying check the Jewish boy's penis I don't remember ever saying that but okay. I'd never admit to that on the internet, either, buddy. I'm the vice president of a company that I've never heard of, and can't find any other info on it. Are you hiring? I got drunk once and proceeded to get lost on the way home, ending up cycling on some highway. For two years I wondered where the hell I had been until I saw Google's location history for that night. I just found out I did fucking go to McDonald's in the middle of the night at my mate's birthday party without anyone fucking noticing and they were telling me I was just passed out the whole time. Okay I have a weird but serious question. My husband passed away last year. I still have his S7. I'm also 99% sure I have his Google account information, but if not I'm sure the password is saved in his phone. If this thing really does record voices, how would I go about downloading his Google data? I just want to hear his voice again. I'm starting to tear up as I type this, but seriously. I only have one voicemail from him on my phone and maybe a couple videos. Anything more I can get of his voice, pictures of him I haven't been able to restore. Anything I can get I want. Miss him so fucking much. If you have his Google login info, you can get to the voice recordings through the link below and logging in with that Google account. Then go to data and personalization and GT voice and audio activity and gt manage activity from there you can play and download audio clips https colon slash slash my account google com slash if you use google photos and allow maps to track your location i took photos that i didn't like deleted them weeks later i am just browsing my timeline in google maps and those deleted photos are there tagged to the location nothing incriminating just thought you should know that a delete isn't a delete edit a lot of people aren't reading this properly so let me clarify i didn't say i found my photos on google photos cloud after deleting them on my phone i found my cloud deleted photos on google maps timeline and please spare me the guess what google still has it paranoid shit i know they still have it, and I don't care, I am merely answering Op's question. Yeah, I deleted some old photos and a year later they came up in a montage of the year. Funny thing is, I'd like them back but can't find them anywhere else. Till Ron Swanson had it fucking right. Erase all pictures of Ron. Apparently I sleepwalk thousands of kilometers and then manage to get back home in time for work. Also a bunch of recordings of my computer's fans spinning. But well, at least they got me on the fetish porn searches. Ah, Google. Hyped up Google. Incompetent Google. No my data is in good hands. Edit, found a fart. Mine is 10 gigabytes. Holy shit it's gonna take a while to download. It is an old account but I have all activity paused except YouTube watch history, so I'm really interested to see why it's so large. Hum, removed. Their profile claims I like Chinese rap. I have no idea why, other than one video I came across in the YouTube rabbit hole. My activity is empty. Nope. 6 gigabytes of data. I don't get how Google is recording secret conversations that can be stored and viewed. I thought this was exclusive to Google Voice searches and commands, which are approved by the user in settings. Till that you can do that. I'll be soon after I go through mine. This post was probably in light of the news post four days ago about Google tracking your data. I remember the thread with people discovering you could download that data. Definitely the voice recordings. That should be turned off by default instead of needing to be changed by the user. How do you change it so it doesn't record you? All phone activity opened app, closed app etc. From the very first day I owned my phone, constant check of my GPS, constant check of my device orientation. If someone steals your Google account, they basically can found out everything there is to find out about you. The most unsettling one I've had came from Facebook, 
not Google. Minor bit of background, I'm a straight guy with a lot of LGBT friends and was actively involved in supporting the Australian same-sex marriage campaign, so FB probably had me flagged as gay at the start of 2012. In 2012 I started dating someone. We've been friends for some time. I'm on Facebook all the time, she had an account but almost never used it. We basically never communicated on Facebook. Immediately Facebook started telling me to mark her as a close friend and all of its ads changed from gay singles cruise and similar to romantic getaways for couples. I can only assume that it was able to tell from GPS that she spent a night at my place and that I spent one at hers a few days later. Underscore. Edit, a few guesses that Wi-Fi was involved. At the time I didn't have Wi-Fi at my place and while she did I never connected to it. It was 2012 and I had a 2 gigabytes mobile data limit for the month which felt like so much that I couldn't imagine needing more. I never thought of that. Two phones at the same place during the night tells a lot I guess. Damn. Not the Google, but hopefully on topic, I have downloaded my data from Facebook, and the most shocking one was a recorded phone conversation of about 30 minutes long. It was dated back around 5 to 7 years ago, and most surprisingly it was not even me who was speaking and I could not even recognize who it was. Edit, as many people ask about how to download your Facebook data, I add here you slash braps to tutus comment and gt. Facebook settings and GT, your Facebook information, and GT, access your information, and GT, download. Edit 2, wow, my first silver, thank you kind stranger. Smile. It's not unsettling but I found out that Google can tell when I'm driving a car versus my motorcycle by using the gyroscopes in my phone. Audio recordings titles are generic and serialized so make sure to take some precautions before listening to them in front of your so, family or randoms. Please don't make my mistake. And GT. Hey Google, how do I increase my penis size? And LT, and GT semicolon exclamation mark backslash girlfriend staring at me backslash. And LT, was it your voice or hers? My purchase history on websites like eBay. Amazon and other companies that, I guess, all sell their data about me to Google. I had no idea of it and although I share things like my location to Google, seeing my purchases is kind of scary because I never allowed it. If you use Gmail for confirmation emails they can recognize them and store the purchase data. Same for reservations, tickets etc. Hardly anything was saved. I'm very picky in what I allow an app to access. Sometimes a limited function is annoying but it seems it pays off. I did this a while back and it's basically nothing. Only a few gigs worth of Jeep's data and some voice recordings back when I had my Galaxy S3 and I wanted to try Google Assistant when it came out. I did get a good chuckle out of half my voice recordings being OK Google, go fuck yourself. In my squeaky younger voice. So how do I fix this? Can I delete it? There's an option to delete everything if you log into your account but I'm not naive enough to believe that it actually deletes it from Google's servers. So many drunken audios. Like, not even meant for the phone, just background talking while, most of the times, very drunk, it was half unsettling half fun to listen to them. Apparently when you press the microphone on the keyboard, I think it's for changing audio to text, it gets sent to Google. Apparently my drunken ass is very prone to misclick it. My first ever Google search was what is a chicken and the second was our chickens real. Op is gathering the data that Google gathered to sell to corporations to sell them to other corporations. Wow, mine is seriously boring. Nothing juicy. I hope my mine is boring. I feel like I should have more of a problem with Google having my data, especially voice recordings. But after going through what they had, it's like 400 recordings of me saying make some coffee, play X on Netflix and turn off the lights. Maybe it's a bigger problem for people that use their assistants for more than home control. Google timer for 10 minutes. Google timer for 20 minutes. Google wake me up at 9 AM. Google send a message to my mum saying what's for dinner. How do you do that? Deleted. 
nice, it appears that I deactivated the whole voice thing when I first got my phone. It was paused when I opened the settings and there was no activity for me to review. I have now deactivated personalized ads and that's it. The two things Google is allowed to track are my YouTube view and search history. Shit man I don't wanna know. Check anyway. You not knowing doesn't mean it isn't happening. It's better to know and take precautions than sit in ignorance. 1. Being scared is temporary. Google collecting your data on the other hand. I'm doing it right now prob gonna update this chat when I get my results. I'm scared. D1 the first thing that pops up are old CSGO clips of me being cringy while playing Dust 2 casual a couple of years ago. D2 I'm finding Minecraft vids and old Blender intros I made gonna keep you guys updated. At 3 4 and the recordings. Nothing really interesting, but I also found the first profile banner and logo I've ever used for YouTube. I also found the first thing I ever did in photo Photoshop. The last thing is that I found older vids, the best one was me splashing water in my brother's face because of a trending prank. Make sure you do this on PC because it's easier. OMG thank you guys for the upvotes. Same I'm doing it I and I probably have some serious stuff on there. I'll let you all know once it's done. Ed1, I'm opening the files I and it gon take 30 minutes in freaking scared lol. Ed2, just found pictures I thought I lost of a dead rat on my couch lol. Make matters worse I'm sitting there right now. Shit my account is like over 14 years old. I wonder how long the archive process will take. Thanks op, real thanks not a sarcastic one, edit, 24 hours in, still hasn't finished building the archive lel. Says it could take days. You're welcome, just don't get too freaked out if you find your teenage cringy and embarrassing searches stored forever. Smile. I just found out Google data was a thing today and checked mine earlier. What are the odds I see this post right now? X-Files theme plays in background. All I know is I definitely can't run for public office. Google knows every location I've been to for the last couple of months. They stored multiple audio files of me talking to colleagues and friends and worst of all, I did not know they were doing that. My mind is blown and I'm terrified. My private information is no one's business, Google. Also, thanks for spreading awareness, op, have some poor man's gold, sports medal, and it's not just your own phone that's recording you. Okay, with permission of my husband, here are some of his that made me almost choke from laughing so hard. July 30th, 2019, said is my wife gay. June 8th, 2019, said show me images of hot dogs sitting in a pot. April 18th, 2019, said how much money can I make from donating my testicles and said can I sell my testicles. March 12th, 2019, said show me a teddy under the skin and said show me images of what a breast looks like underneath the layer skin. January 2nd, 2019, said what is the average price for a hip replacement in Mexico. December 26, 2018, said how big are hamsters decks. December 13, 2018, at 5.42 pm, said show me places I can buy chicken salad near me, then at 5.46 pm, said do Syrian hamsters masturbate, then at 5.47 pm, said order me a chicken salad now bitch. December 11, 2018, said do Syrian hamsters masturbate. December 7, 2018, said where's a good place to go see Christmas lights that you help a brother out. November 26, 2018, said can hamsters go in water. November 5, 2018, said show me the Alexa product and said how do you say I'm your big black daddy in Spanish and said how do you say I am your black father in Spanish. September 28, 2018, said f backslash you soap september 8th 2018 said show me large flaccid penises i shouted this out while he was trying to search something else but it picked up what i said instead dot july 3rd 2018 said boogers and boogers i like to eat my boogers masturbating while eating my boogers